Wednesday, November 24th. I'm Natalie Morris and it's time to get loaded. Yesterday, Acer unveiled a new dual touchscreen laptop at a press event here in New York. Dan Ackerman was on the scene. And we're here with what's possibly the most exciting thing out of today's big Acer event. That's the Iconia. It's a 14-inch laptop and if it looks like something's a little bit different, that's because it has two screens and they're both touchscreens. This is more of a full laptop experience, and to get that on-screen keyboard, what you do is uh, you don't hit a button or anything. You take both hands, ten fingers, two palms, put them down right here, and it knows to pop up the full keyboard right there, which then you can type on depending on your proficiency with uh, on-screen keyboards. It will also take one hand input. You put all five fingers down, and it brings up this media jog wheel that lets you jog through all sorts of different media options. And of course, they actually have their own custom web browser uh, built in right here that's meant to work with both screens. I've got it up right here, but with one touch, I can expand it to both screens, or I can just view it just on the top. It runs Windows 7, and it should be available, uh, depending on where you live in the world, either in December or early in 2011. Angry Birds are coming to a game console near you. The popular mobile phone game is said to be in the works for PlayStation, Xbox, and Wii. It's expected out next year. The U.S. military launched MilTube, a video sharing site for military members and their families. The Department of Defense did not love military members using YouTube to share videos because of potential security risks. Now they can use a military-approved version where videos are secure and firewalled. The site supports a variety of video formats as well as audio-only streams. It works on PCs and mobile devices. Microsoft released an update to Bing Movies that lets you search for showtimes near you, plus trailers, clips, interviews, and reviews. It's all a lot easier, and a lot like Rotten Tomatoes, only a little bit prettier, and the reviews are not as obvious to find. You can find it at bing.com slash movies. Microsoft is also offering free photos with Santa this holiday season if you're flying Southwest Airlines. The Santa photo station will be at 26 airports across the country. You can edit the photos with Windows Live. And I suppose it's not required, but you probably should have a child with you to take part. If you're a book reader, you might want to try out Copia. It launched in public beta on Monday. Copia is a social network for readers. It's a lot like Goodreads, which I am a big fan of. It even lets you import your membership from Goodreads. It brings together book discovery, book sharing, and digital book purchasing into one platform. You can take it for a test drive at thecopia.com. And finally, Facebook will soon own the word face. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has sent the company a notice of allowance, meaning they are about to give them the trademark on the word in association with telecommunication services. They're also working to protect the use of book in social networking services as well. So they will own faces and books, quite the intellectual properties. Those are your headlines for today, and that wraps up your week of getting loaded. We are off the rest of the week for the Thanksgiving holiday, so we will see you soon on Monday. Be safe, have fun shopping with Black Friday deals. There are a ton of them. And most importantly, enjoy your loved ones. I'm Natalie Morris for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.